remember a number of years ago when the Republicans took over the House, the very first bill that they introduced, the very first bill, was to defund Planned Parenthood. Uh, I stood up on the House floor and gave an impassioned speech about how important Planned Parenthood is to women in this country. A member, uh, Chris Smith, uh, on the other side of the aisle, reading from a book talking about second-term abortions and how they sawed off the legs. <laughs> and I sat there in disbelief, and then stood up and said, how dare you talk about a subject you know nothing about? <laughs> and you may know that I had a, a second-term abortion. Um, it was you know, a wanted pregnancy, but it failed. And I went through what it was like to deliver a fetus um, that was um, in, un inviolable, unviable. Um, in any case, they've already passed it in the House. I stood up on the floor, spoke against it. I don't think they're gonna be successful in the Senate um, to pass it, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, what does Planned Parenthood do? First of all, there's no federal dollar, not one dime, that goes to Planned Parenthood for abortion. Not one dime. The money that goes to Planned Parenthood is about $500 million a year. And what is it used for? It provides 800,000 pap smears and cancer screening. It provides, it, it diagnoses 170,000 uh, sexually transmitted diseases. Of those 800,000 screens that it does, they detect cancer in 86,000 people every year. Now, that's 86,000 people who would go without health care, who would go without that screening, but for Planned Parenthood, and who could, in fact, die. Now, why would we take away that health opportunity and option for people in this country. It is because they have just got it in for Planned Parenthood every which way, and they're trying to, to kill it. And if they won't, Planned Parenthood has been around for a very long time, and women in this country, and men in this country, won't stand for it.